Here we have a good example of how to do acid-base titrations. If you looked at the previous video where we talked about the basics, the understanding of what was going on when you do acid-base titrations, and you looked at that and go, oh boy, that looks pretty complicated, this will make it a lot easier. So, let's say that we have 25 milliliters of some hydrochloric acid. We do not know the concentration, right? We do not know the concentration. That's what we're trying to find out, the concentration of our sample is equal to question mark. That's the, that's the question. And of course you know that with hydrochloric acid, when you put it into a solution, uh, making water and hydrochloric acid combined, that the hydrogen ions will dissociate. And we know that we have one hydrogen ion for every hydrochloric acid ion. We're going to add a base to it. It turns out in this example, we added 37.42 milliliters of sodium hydroxide that has a molarity of 0.1078 moles per liter and of course again we have one hydroxide ion for every sodium hydroxide uh, molecule that we have in the solution. So how do you find the molarity of the hydrochloric acid? How do you find the concentration? And there's that easy equation to use. So to find the molarity of the hydrochloric acid we put down the molarity of the base so the molarity of the base here this is equal to 0 0.1078 moles per liter and we multiply that times the ratio of the number of hydroxide ions liberated for each uh, molecule of sodium hydroxide and the number of hydrogen ions liberated for each molecule of the hydrochloric acid and in this case the ratio is one to one all right so one molecule of hydroxide ion uh, and one ion of uh, hydrogen. Now we multiply that times the ratio of the volumes of the two solutions. So we put the volume of the base that we added and we divide it by the volume of the no unknown sample. Now that makes a lot of sense when you think about it. The more base you have to add, the more volume, the higher the concentration of the acid you're trying to neutralize. The less the volume of the base, the less the concentration or the molarity and vice versa. The more acid you started with, if this is a bigger number and you need less of the base, then you know the molarity is not as great. So it makes a lot of sense to have that ratio. So what is the volume of the base? It's 37.42 milliliters. What is the volume of the unknown sample? 25 milliliters. And now we're ready with a calculator to figure out the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. Another way of looking at it on these ratios right here, let's say that we had twice as many hydroxide ions as we had hydrogen ions created in our solution. Then of course if it's twice as many then the concentration of hydrochloric acid will therefore be twice as strong. So again it makes sense to do it that way. So anyway the ratio is 1 to 1 so I have 0 0.1078 times 1 divided by 1 times 37.42 divided by 25 and that means that the concentration of the hydrochloric acid is equal to 0 0.1614 molar. So that is then the molarity of the hydrochloric acid. And that's how you do that. So you see, it's not that difficult. Not if you follow that simple equation right there. That's how you do that.